you have researched fire extensively in California and uh, you consider it more as a feature than a bug. Why so? Right. This is a point of dire importance, as a matter of fact, that fire in California doesn't exist as some sort of remainder of an equation that has yet to be balanced. Land fire in California is not a bug of the system. Land fire in California is the system. All arboreal habitats and grassland habitats in California have a relationship to fire, either adapted to or dependent upon the regular return of fire as a nutritive element in the landscape, as a disturbance factor that actually engages a succession cycle, an adaptive cycle that frees niche resources such that the ecosystem can continue to be abundant productively. It's almost like it's as essential as like a volcano that actually erupts and then makes that land fertile. And it's not whether we want it or not, it's going to happen. That's the nature. Oh, okay, so we're talking, you're talking about soil generation. In a similar way, maybe people should think about fire as opposed to, hey, we're not managing something properly. As a geochemical force, that's exactly what fire does. Mm. Land fire, combustion fire, as opposed to a uh, geologic fire, which is what volcanoes represent mm -hmm. and supply. What land fire does, the burning of organic matter and hydrocarbons all across the landscape actually shocks the ground with these different chemicals, including nitrogen mm. and phosphorus yeah. and potassium. The list goes on. Mm -hmm. And on. This is fertilizer. That's why so many trees in California won't actually drop their seeds until they have temperatures exceeding 450 degrees. Yeah. 